In this example, we're being asked to find the domain and range for the following function, y equals square root of x squared plus 4. First, in finding the domain, we need to find our restrictions on x. So the restrictions on x for any function exist because you cannot have a negative number under a root, and you can never divide by 0. You can see that only a might possibly apply here, because for b to hold, it is necessary to have a denominator which can go to 0. But our denominator is 1, and it's a constant. So, let's look under the square root, though. This is the restriction that must hold. x squared plus 4 must be positive. But since we know that x squared is always positive, if x is negative infinity, x squared still becomes a positive value. Therefore, x squared will always be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x squared plus 4 will be greater than or equal to 4. Thus, no restrictions exist on x. So, in writing the proper notation, for domain, this is saying that x is such that x exists for all real numbers. Another way of writing this, the way I prefer, is using interval notation. And you start with the smallest value that x can take on, and you go all the way up to the largest value. In this case, since there are no restrictions, we only need to write it in one interval, and it goes from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. So that's the domain. Now, for the range, we need to find the smallest and the largest values of y. Since x squared is in the numerator, it is evident that the smallest value of y will correspond to the smallest value of x squared. And since we know that x squared must be greater than or equal to 0, it holds that y will be at a minimum when x squared equals 0. Therefore, we sub in 0 for x squared. And in this case, we find that y equals 2. So we have our minimum value of y. For our max value of y, we have to look back at the function. And again, since this is an increasing function with increasing x, we see that our maximum value of y will occur at two points. It will occur at negative infinity and positive infinity. So if we sub in any of those, we're going to get an infinite value of y. So writing the range down will look like this. y is such that y must be greater than or equal to 2, that's our restriction, on this interval, it exists for all real numbers. Or, in my more preferred way, we could just say that y starts by touching 2, and it goes all the way up to positive infinity.